What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here, and check it out. We have Asajj Ventress. Uh, this is a character that I believe debuted in the original uh, Star Wars Clone Wars micro series um, from the Cartoon Network, where it was the actual kind of animated series. Uh, she debuted as the apprentice of Count Dooku, uh, Darth Tyrannus, if you will. And, um, you know, they basically continued the same type of story in the Clone Wars animated series. And um, they really expanded on it quite exponentially. Um, this is definitely a very classic um, Legends character, if you will. Um, I, I thought they did a really cool job with her. Um, over time with the Clone Wars, you know, attaching her with the Night Sisters, and um, yeah, man, uh, just really a, a cool character. As soon as uh, Sidious found out of her existence, Dooku is like, yep, cut and bait. Uh, she's got those Dooku lightsabers with the curved hilt, and uh, she was uh, she was pretty out there, man. She. She was totally all about disruptiveness. Uh, she could have been a... Uh, I think they made her look much stronger in the animated series than they did in the, the cartoon version. Um, but I it just the cart the original cartoon was just so great. And um, you know if you haven't seen it before, I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I think it was out in like like around 2003 or so. Um, I just remember there was a, uh, a tabletop game called Star Wars, uh, shoot, actually, dang, I forgot what it was called. Uh, it was just Star Wars miniatures, basically, actually. Um, and I just remember the first time I ever saw Asajj Ventress myself was when she was a piece in that game. And I'm pretty sure I have her somewhere. I had all the pieces for that game at one point. Um, they're all just sitting in my garage right now. Um, because they stopped making the game many years Sorry, ago, but, out of prizes, um, but I started watching that Clone Wars cartoon after the fact, and uh, yeah, man, this is a uh, this is a good portrayal. She's a, a dual wielding, dual wielding, and again, uh, she was she was betrayed by Dooku, and once that happened, she made it her mission to uh, to seek vengeance, if you will. Um, she concocted the plan. Uh, where she was supposed to, you know, train Savage Opress uh, to go basically uh, take out her former master, but uh, they found out real quick that uh, neither one of them could control him, and uh, there we have it. So, um, very unique character. I believe, like the comics established her as like a former uh, Jedi Padawan at one point or another. Um, I don't remember who her, her master was. Um, I actually had this up. It was, uh, it's been a long time, man. Um, but she's definitely a character that popped up in the comics. Uh, seeing her with, like, portrayed with hair has always been uh, fairly interesting, too. Um, but, you know, the whole Legends thing kind of throws everything off uh, a little bit, so... Yeah, Jedi Knight uh, Kai Narek, who I don't even know who that is. Um, so, actually, it looks like that uh, he might have actually come up in the actual Clone Wars. So, um, yeah, man, uh, there you go. Uh, Asajj Ventress. Um, definitely glad to have her. It really makes sense to have her in this Clone Wars uh, pack DLC. Uh, she was very, very important to the series, and uh, for a lot of people, uh, one of the, you know, every bit on the level as Savage Opress. Actually, I, I think of her way, way more before I think of Savage Opress, personally. So, uh, what do you guys think of Asajj Ventress? Um, there she is, and uh, she's available in the Star Wars Clone Wars Character Pack DLC, available now, and uh, we'll see you.